At the end of each year, Star Citizen's quarterly patch schedule transitions from making dreams come true with all the good stuff you ever desired to whatever's left because we're all headed home for the holidays. The last update of the year usually has the bare minimum in terms of features and this one honors that tradition as well as any update ever has. That's why it's time for an even more abbreviated abbreviated review of Star Citizen Alpha 3.16. The first new feature that turns a marginally cool mechanic into a slightly above par cool mechanic is the update to the Grav Love system. Now you can forgo the majesty of flying your own personal spaceship to flying your own tiny version of a spaceship feet above the ground. Except now you explode 10% less often. Finally, you can live your dream of zipping through the forest moon of Endor and splattering yourself onto a tree. When you do vaporize your body on the side of a mountain, now you can discover the sterile beauty of the Area 18 hospital. Much like other hospitals, you'll get to enjoy brief inconsequential chats with doctors and explore a world littered with discarded hospital gowns no one ever picks up. Once you've fully re-established your body parts, you can venture out into the universe to find hidden treasures within derelict ships. These ships apparently aren't like the existing derelict ships and that they have laser trip mines to fuck up your day if you're not paying attention. However, they're not actually in this patch despite being listed on the update page, so all the time I spent looking for them was a total waste. The shining prize of 3.16 is CIG's attempt to take the emergent gameplay of a bug people used to enjoy and manipulate it to harness a fraction of its original magic. It's time for Jumptown 2.0. In this Disney-esque reimagining, you'll be headed into the hidden drug lab at the request of either the good guys or the bad guys, depending on how much you love crime, and tasked with picking up some good old-fashioned drugs. Of course, with this mission being announced across the entire server and the location marked, everyone races to the production facility and only the finest chaos ensues. Dogfighting blazes through the clouds, campers wait inside to rip you a collection of new assholes the moment the door opens, and sometimes I just slam into the ground like an idiot because it's dark. Then I get to respawn, engage my commando montage outfitting guns and armor, and head back out to try it all again. Sometimes, though, you arrive in between moments where everyone has been brutally murdered and their weird T-pose corpses are everywhere. Then you'll have just enough time to grab a couple of these ugly boxes of what appears to be mulch and load them up in your favorite space pickup truck while constantly fearing death from above. Then you can haul them back to your nearest station to get paid by the good guys or haul them to Grimhex to get paid the exact same amount by the bad guys. Either way, it's definitely almost not really worth the effort to participate in this latest server-based event. However, if you can get a squad together to take control of the site, it might end up being pretty profitable. And what better way to pull together a squad than the Drake Cutlass Steel? Finally, CIG is embracing the world of asset flips as they take the existing drop seats and stationary guns and haphazardly strap them onto the classic design of the Drake Cutlass. This kit bash creates an all-new dropship slash gunship that will have you looking at the old Redeemer and saying, yeah, that's way better. The best part is, this ship that trades out cargo space for enough lawn chairs to hold half the server and a few more guns dangling off the sides costs nearly two and a half times as much as the base model of the Cutlass. A decision so popular that in all the time I attempted to find one to look at myself, not one person had actually purchased it. Thankfully, CIG did provide one more update that will bring everyone back around. After the wonderful Broken Moon updates, they fully embraced the power of volumetric clouds and updated the dying star map with the edge-to-edge -edge beauty of impenetrable fog. Star Citizen Alpha 3.16, it probably could have just waited until 3.17. If you'd like to see more information about previous updates in an almost informative way, check out my other Star Citizen videos here.